Uh, 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 uh. Okay, let's see if that's close. Oh, my friend, I got separated. Yeah, I'm going there, but my horse is right here. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Just two wheels. The village equestrian riding course. Ah, they fixed the place. Uh, no, there doesn't seem to be anybody. What's up? Okay, Cora, I'll take you out of there. Ah. Okay, the car's gonna wait. I hope it won't vanish. Okay, I don't think we'll fall like that. Ah! Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. He's okay, he's staining. You said he's staining. He's staining. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Electro. Did I have one? Ah. Oh, horse. Oh, that. He left right there, in the middle of the road. Wow, what did they do? Did it seriously rain? Uh, he's talking to me. Who are you? I don't remember you. So, uh, is there anything special bringing you to Hateno Village at this hour? Oh, we have our veggies, Sissy's fashion, and just those two things, really. So, you know, not much point attacking our homes or anything. Oh, he's actually pretty handsome now that I get a good look. Hey, I have a good idea. You should take this and not ask any questions. But like, uh, are you the one that used to get scared of it? <gasps> you swim me off my feet so fast that I gave you one of my prized eggs. Uh, no more thought. Uh, just forget what happened here today. How could I ever forget? <sighs> Your heart's like a cuckoo's egg. Easily given but easy to break. Oh. Please find it in your heart forget what happened today. How could I ever forget? Mm. Same thing. Okay, it's forgotten. I was wondering if there was some way I could romanticize eggs. Romanticize eggs. But in the end, eggs are something you cook and eat for breakfast, and that's it. They say a cuckoo's memory lasts for three steps. If you promise to forget this whole thing, I'll forget it too. I should get back to work. The stores in barn are always open. Take it easy, stranger. I'm cleaning up to take my mind off things until morning comes. At first light, it will be my son Tibus' turn to take over on watch duty. How does the job... He does the job more like my husband used to do. Checking for suspicious people, guiding visitors around the village, that sort of thing. Uh, you know what, let me make a bonfire here because I want to check the town on daylight. <coughs> Did 
two more. Right? There's two here. Two morning comes. Isn't it morning already? I slept two morning. <laughs> this is not going well. Oh, I have some things here now. Oh. I can be right there. Hang just a sec. Oh, uh, I was sure you were mayor. Merit? I had a mayor. Come me to talk for a bit. Uh, did all this fashion business bring you to town too? Uh, before folks came to the village for the veggies, but now they show up for the goddess get up CC mix. So which are after? Neither actually. Okay, this is outfit. Makes sense. I guess she's a world famous designer or whatever. Go up the slope further into the village. CC shop is the techy one on the left as you enter the gates. Oh. Even my wife Nikki is gaga about her stuff. If you uh, you see this hat I'm wearing, Nick's the one who insisted I keep it on. Give me a light, tough straw hat when it comes to work in the fields any day. No, oh, but don't let my wife hear I said so. She uh, thinks it looks good on me. Anyway, what you see here is me trying to come up with a new kind of veggie, but I haven't had much luck so far. Still, if I quit so soon, I'm be poor excuse for a farmer, wouldn't I know? Wouldn't I know? What can I tell you about the other one? It's okay. Oh, where is veggies? I'm here with veggies. That's what I thought. Hateno is, is it's veggies after all. I focus on growing pumpkins myself, but there are there's other fields and a couple farms up the hill too. It's and I suppose nowadays we've got those weird sculptures to gawk at you. Are you talking about mushrooms? What is there is plenty to check out around our village if they take time to look. Anyway, what you see here is me trying to come Yeah, okay. I can examine. Hey, hey, those aren't ready for har the harvest yet. If you want pumpkins, you can buy them like everyone else. They sell them at the general store by the village agents. Ah, there's probably milk here. Finally. At least I were in the previous game. Pumpkins on the menu, buy some at the general store. Hmm, loop. Oh, what a strange decoration they've been putting up. Why are you holding a carriage? Uh, sorry about that. Are you a visitor here? A tourist? Actually, I was to live here. You're in Hateno, a village known for living off the land. For as long as anyone can remember, we've tilled the soil and let nature be our guiding life. Huh. Now, though, everything is getting so glitzy as some folks try to drum up more tourist business. Mind you, we were all happy to see Sissy return to the village after she's been away for so long. Some folks, like my daughter Prima, Ah, the girl from the uh, inn, right? She was pretty much started wearing that flashy sissy brain stuff right away in celebration. But it's a tad over the top for me and my son-in-law Wharton. I don't remember was Wharton the guy who got the crickets. Uh, we prefer the simple life, the way we've always lived. In. Lived. But I don't know. I don't mean to talk you. You're, you're off. By all means, go on and have yourself peaceful stay here. Oh! <laughs> yeah, you're Tibo. How to identify yourself, suspicious guy? I'm not suspicious. No, you're not. Then I'll give you the gatekeeper's greeting. Ah, you're going there now. How did you go again? You've come to a village, home of fine produce and dyed goods. Our vegetables are the best around and we are at the forefront of fashion. Did I say it right? My dad would have known. Too bad he is still a local lady. Ah. No suspicious. Nothing suspicious yet. Okay, now they're going back. 
Uh, there's still need something. My son Tibo is doing a great job filling in as village gatekeeper while my husband is off a local lady. I'm using my break now to look after my cuckoos at home. But I'm sure my son will be happy to show you around town if you ask him. Ah uh, yeah, let's get a tour. Uh, what's the matter buddy? Did you... Did you hear I said you're suspicious? Don't you know what the word means? That's me suspicious? Uh, you're suspicious? Uh, yep, you're the first actually suspicious guy I've met. I could tell as soon as I saw you. Uh, but I'm not supposed to talk to the suspicious ones. She is folks alone. But that doesn't mean I should talk to any suspicious folks. That means you. I'm not suspicious. Uh, you're not suspicious after all. Then I'll give you the great gift. Uh, aren't you supposed to show me around? Aren't you supposed to show me around? So I'm starting to do good. I work here as guard, but there's no suspicious folks in Hatena anyway. So you can relax, take it easy. Huh. Aren't you. Didn't you say he was supposed to show me around? Oh, let's go check our house. Let's see. If, uh, dream of owning your own house. Come down to Terrytown in Akala. We will build it for you just the way you saw it in your dreams. Hudson Construction. But isn't. Uh, both all around? back hey okay, the sign is in there but the door is oh 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 that's still this horse um. oh this is Zelda's place now We haven't been there yet. Uh, the rumor beasts are the ones from the. Ah, she has it. The ones from the trailer. I can sleep in here. Is that the journal? Uh, first page. After the calamity, I asked myself how to rebuild and set out across Hyrule in search of an answer. That's the first time they mentioned the calamity. I think there was some other reference to to it, but it wasn't. I don't think it was actually naming it. I saw collapsed buildings, lost cities. The damage was far worse than I had imagined. Oh yeah, she didn't see it all going down. But as I watched the people and heard the stories, I was convinced I was not lost. Uh, the people's spirits were not broken, they and their strong wills are Hyrule's greatest treasure. They are the ones who will rebuild, and my contribution to their efforts will be to protect them while they do so. Next page. It's part of Hyrule's reconstruction, we've built a school in Hatano Village. You've built, there's a new building then. It's a, the largest Hylian village with its sprawling, bountiful land. There are so many children living here that it seemed ideal play, the ideal place to found the school. The school. I've recruited Simin for from the research institute to teach there. Uh. He was Spur's assistant for years, which makes him well equipped to deal with the needs of quirky children. Okay. I'll be overseeing the school for a while myself to keep an eye on the students. I commissioned Bolson, who taught his trade to Hudson of Hudson Construction, to construct the school for us. He seemed deeply moved by the request. This will be his final job in Hateno Village before he sets off on journey. Uh, 
I had him let a secret room to my house when the wall appeared in the plants. It's dim but humidity and temperature controlled, so it's very comfort comfortable. There's a secret room. It's proven very useful when I'm working alone and need to concentrate. Uh, work on the school has been moving along smoothly, but a major problem recently reared, reared its head. We don't have enough teachers. Sammy is interviewing people, but he hasn't found a good fit yet. Do they need multiple teachers? There aren't that many children around. I'd like to hire someone intelligent, educated, and capable of earning the children's trust. Nurturing our children is an extension of our duty to this land. We shape our future by the way we shape their path. I hope to see sterling members of our community come to this village and take up the meadow as their teacher. Hmm, this could be a quest for us to find. Ah yeah, it was Mifa. <laughs> that was the reference to the previous game. But that's the first time they actually mentioned the Calamity. So this will probably have something to do with Zelda. That was her horse. The quest kind of had to do with her. She was happy around with her. her. Um, okay, this one is close to Gerudo region, so I haven't seen that yet. And those were the guys that she taught how to cook. Ah, and those are the ingredients. Ah. We didn't have that. Ah, I don't think we could enter here either. Sell the secret <laughs> well. Another Zayada diary. Uh, though the calamity is over, the scars remains. A mountain of problems stands before us even, us even as we begin to rebuild. No matter where I go or to offer aid, Link remains at my side. A kindness that has taken a visible toll on his clothing. Ah, that's why I've put an order in for a new improved champion's tunic. Just for him. Didn't she make that? Previous one. Uh, I just can't wait to see the look on his face when I surprise him with it. I'll hide it in the throne room so he won't find it. I thought it was there. So we won't find it until after our investigation. He, even he would never expect that the torches were the, are the key. Ah, so there will be also puzzle there to open the door. Ah, well-worn hairband. An old, worn, simple hairband. Its color has long faded, but it still has some life left in it. Wearing it in your hair makes your sent your sentiment about times pass. Well, isn't he wearing it now? No, this one's different. It's just a difference between the previous game and the current one. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool, but I... It's zero because the same thing as wearing nothing. But I like his hair loose better. And there are some drawings here from the kids. Ah, this school will have this bolso trademark look. What's the rock here? I mean, this whole area here. Was it here? Because I remember having to dive over here. Uh, but this few carries the switch carries at the general store. It's his as well. 
The farmers have been lavishing these veggies with great care. You probably shouldn't just take one. Okay. You, Evie, Ivy. Good day. Welcome to Jordan Village. Here for some sad scene. The East Wind General Store is open for business. You are here for Hadeno Village's famous fresh produce. You've come to the right place. Or if you like this super cute CC hat. I don't really like it, but I'm probably gonna buy it. You can hit the store across the way. Ventas Clothing. They are featuring a new line of hats right now. Thanks to Sissy, this village is a, the place to be. She's drawing in some interest that our sales are going up to. Sissy's putting our village on the map. Ooh. Oops, there I go again. She's for the clothes shop again. Uh, I can hear that now. Just whose business are you promoting on there? Swing general goods. <laughs> oh! Uh, our little swing general store carries all of Hateno Village's local specialties. Ever since CC set, set up shop in the place across the way, Hateno has made a name for itself with fresh fashion. Before that though, this was a farming community from way back. We are self-sufficient little burg. We eat what we harvest and sell the rest. Uh -huh. I tell you what, you haven't lived until you've tried a bottle of fresh milk straight from Hatenu's pasture. Uh, head up uh, to the pasture when you get me it. You'll be glad you did. That wraps up the sales speech. Figure, oh. sorry for the long, uh, for the song and nice, but I got a business run. Anywho, you say, so, what's that hat? Oh, oh this is made it. She set up shop in the place across the way. She left a long while back to practice her craft. But she perfected it and came back as a famous fashion designer. Now CC Fever is sweeping the village. You can't throw a rock without hitting someone wearing this hat. I don't know the first thing about fashion myself. My wife Mira cares much more about that stuff. Anything else? No, goodbye. The veggies out in the field aren't for sale. If you are in the market for produce, come see us. Okay, just three. Uh... This fresh milk comes from Hateno bread cows and white goats from all across Haru. It's delicious on its own, but can be used in soups and stews too. I think more. Yeah. Yeah, I like more, but veggies out in the field. Okay, same thing. Let me see, there was a cooking book here. A recipe book. No more. Uh, there's probably gonna be a quest around here, won't it? Well, we came on this way. No? Oh. Uh, Selfie. Uh, she's the one that used to run the store. As I've said multiple times now, I can't meet three customers at present. What do you mean? We took the trouble to come in here and now you're saying we can't get in? But I want to see Sissy's new stuff. Uh, it's not every day a mega famous fashion designer that puts new material. Mm. Yeah, everything I heard say this was some of Sissy's best work. Oh. So I'm probably gonna wear it eventually. I'm so so sorry, but we only have one entry ticket remaining. Mm. One ticket? So you're saying one person could go in? Hey, come now, we can let just one of us uh, get a head start. Sure, I know that. It was just a joke. Oh well, maybe if we come back later, they'll have room for all of us. Ah. Yeah, it's not like this is the only clothing place in the village. What do you say we kill some time at the dye shop? Oh, or we could check out the pasture. Speaking of which, I've heard that a little ways up the road from the pasture is a laboratory specializing in ancient stuff. That's where I'm going. Mm. Uh, since we got all dolled up, we may as well hit the town and see it all. Uh. Thank goodness they give up. Mm. Oh. oh my, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. 
are you also a tourist who come to see my sisters? Ah, I mean the new line of sisters produce products. This cloak looks a bit more uh, fancy without the hat. Uh, as long as it's just you, you're free to go into the shop. Sissy herself <laughs> is in there right now, in fact. Nothing you see is for sale. It's only an exhibition right now. Sorry to disappoint. If it's only an ex exhibition, why can't anybody just come in and see it? Oh. Well, me, I head on, on in before somebody else shows up. Between you and me, Sissy herself is here right now. That said, we're only displaying the new city. It's a line right now, not selling it, sorry to disappoint. Okay, let's take a look at the clothing boutique. I think the logo is different. Oh. Fashionable personal only. Uh, the guard's outfit, the hood, the regular Hylian. Okay, there'll probably be something new there. I thought it was a diary. Yeah, I don't care about it, no. What's up with the mushrooms? No. Uh, another practically perfect masterpiece. It's an exemplar of the form from every angle. This is the sort of thing on which I build my name and reputation as the world-renowned CC. Hmm? Uh -huh. Oh, pardon me. Are you an admirer here to meet the incomparable CC? Oh, I must say, you don't seem to show any sort of interest in fashion. Mm. Welcome to Ventas Clothing, the only boutique in the world which carries the CC brand. And if you weren't, you weren't aware, no. you stand before the very woman who changed this fusty old village into the birthplace of novel fashion. As proof, I present you this. The Sissy Hat, the newest and most magnificent work of yours truly, Sissy. Can I reply with a <laughs> meh? Do you see the luxurious curves? The, oh, wouldn't call the pinnacle of perfection. This piece is so special that I dare not assign a price to it. It's not for sale, so I'll get it for free. I shall only part with it when I find someone truly worth of owning it. Well, only the most impressive fashionista in Hyrule's strangest village is worth a, of such a crawl. Hmm. Uh, what's all this about Hyrule's strangest village? I don't remember proving any slogans for Hateno. Oh, look who's here. What can I do for you, Austin Merit? I'm really sorry, I tried to stop him from coming like you asked, but he wouldn't take no for an answer. TC, mm. you have got to quit littering the village with your weird art pieces. Uh, maybe you don't realize, but plants need their sleep too. These, those eyesores are so bright at night that they are keeping the veggies awake. It's a real problem for the crops. Athena's foundation is its produce. What are we going to do if it fails? Ah. No, no, dear. There's no need to get so worked up. I think uh, some of the people here actually like her art, you know? Wouldn't it be better to hear her out? <coughs> Don't fall for her line of twaddle. She's got everyone in Hateno wrapped up around her fingers already. My duty is to look after the village and that's what I mean to do. Uh -huh. Look after the village, say. Who do you suppose you had to thank for Hateno's rejuvenation? <sighs> Didn't need rejuvenating. Hateno village is a peaceful place where folks live quiet lives, and that's the way they like it. <laughs> do they? Then let us leave the matter to the people to decide. 
my avant-garde approach versus this mere quaint bygone ways. The citizens will decide which outlook will drive the future of the village. By holding a mirror election. Yeah. You're calling for a mirror election? Sure, suits me. Oh, we that pretty easy? Sophie, I delegate management of the mirror election to you. What? Come on, Clive. I don't feel like sticking around here any longer. It's time for we headed back home. I remember he was. Uh, there's a quest. Let me talk to her afterwards. I just. Yeah, a mere election could move things or people around town and stuff. This sounds like a big thing. You lost or something? Maybe you want to go ask Reed for directions. He's a mirror here. Actually, maybe he'd have better luck talking to Amir and Nikki. Those ladies who are always staying around talking. Those two. Hey, I remember you. Uh, hello there. Always happy to see a new traveler in Hotel Village. Are you one of those who came to see the new CC Fresh Online? Oh. Not to brag, but the mind behind it is my own daughter, Sissy. If you're looking for her, you'll probably find her at the clothing shop, I mean boutique. It's over by the village entrance. Not sure what the difference is, personally, but Sissy always gets upset when I call it a clothing shop. Uh, Hatenus election is on. Ah, so it's going on already. Really, the incumbent mayor of the village is running against Sissi, darling of the fashion world. To settle whose vision for Hatten will win out, the two of them have agreed to hold an election. Details soon. Yeah, so what would be written here be if before I speak to them? They're right at the entrance of the village. Look, Mirror, someone who forgot to put on his hasty brain outfit today. Nah, get it with the times and put on some CC brand clothes already. How else will anyone know your loyalty to CC style? Ah. Walk around the village looking like that if you want, but don't blame me when Sis roasts your fashion sense. <laughs> Sis set up her own CC brand line. It proves what a fantastically avant-garde charismatic designer she is. Why, CC single-handedly set the tone for Hatena's whole look. This shop is to the left of the village entrance. It's the stylish shop with the mushroom clothing decoration. Uh, if you're feeling plain, shabby, or drab, Sissy has the cure. Go ask her to coordinate your look today. Oh. You also have a question for me? I don't know, let's talk to them. Let's start the quest. You. There's no time to waste. Oh, you again? I got a long to do list in preparation for the mirror election, and the sooner I get started, the better. Hmm. Uh... The answer should go without saying, but you. This should go without saying, but you are, of course, a CC voter, a read voter, undecided. I didn't like the guy's attitude. But I really don't like her style, so... No. Oh, so uh, if you haven't yet thrown in your lot with either candidate, then welcome to Team CC. Uh -huh. That settles that, I trust. No. It's plain for all to see that I am... That I'm a shoo-in for the next mirror. Uh. Or so one would think. Yeah, there are stranglers in this village still supporting Reed. They need a mental makeover. No. And so... I have a fabulous plan to give out mushrooms to Reed's supporters. Oh. Mushrooms are synonymous with CC brand. Fungal fashion is the CC way. The mushrooms I give them will paint them inside and out with fresh, vibrant CC brand colors. No. Although Sophie and I must mind the shop. Where will we find someone we can trust to carry out this fatal task? 
I don't I don't know if the guy will have a quest for me. If I take this quest, maybe I won't be able to... I have to go. Oh, so eager to get started on my little errand already? You need this then? No, I just refused. I pressed B. These mushrooms are for the village its supporters. It's easy to recognize them by how unstylish they are. My supporters are all expert fashionistas dressed to the nines in CC. Uh -huh. This should go without saying, but don't give one to anyone in Reed's family. Okay, that's uh -huh. what I'm going to try to do. Um, there's also no need to give them to children, travelers, or any temporary residents like the Shika researchers. That leaves us unless... That is us with, unless I miss my... Guess a total of eight read supporters. No. Your mission is simple: give it a single highland shroom to each of those eight misguided voters. Well, off you go. Team Sis or Team Reed? Yeah, but I'm not sure would if the guy would have a quest for me as well. I better go talk to him before talking to anybody that isn't wearing CC clothes. Aww. She settled me with so much work when she put me in charge of the mayoral election. Oh. Uh, sir, I feel like you should apologize for dragging you into this mess I found myself in. But since we're both involved now, I couldn't have spoke to you before we've been got involved. Uh, could you give me a little advice? Now's a bad time, sure. Uh, I shouldn't have expected that. The thing I need your advice on is my sister, it's about Sissy. Lately, she's been sneaking off alone in the middle of the night. I don't think it's anything sinister, but the election is soon and I don't want any last minute surprises to hurt her chances. So I'd like you to tell my sister, find out where she's going and what she's up to, and get back to me. I tried following her myself, but she spotted me right away. I really got an earful about it too. If you succeed in finding out what she's doing, I can reward you, of course. You are the only one I can ask for help. I don't want any of the villagers finding out until I know what's going on. Help me out, please. This is secret. And what if I went directly to the mirror's house, spoken to him before getting to know Sissy? He would have a dialogue that I missed already. Her shop shouldn't be so close to the entrance. Loves fire burns forever. Many ah okay, so prima got married to another guy and now you are you checking Sophie out wow. or that one because Sophie she was Carson's girlfriend, but I'm not sure now how they are. What's the matter? You can tell me. Really handsome dude. <laughs> you look like you've been places. Sure, things are peaceful in the old village, but it's a jungle out there in the world. That's why I stick around here. Check. Okay, it's IV. Uh, I stick around here, checking out the scene, make sure no strangers put, up, put the moves on Miss IV. Wait, I mean, that's why I make sure no strangers come in from outside to disturb the peace. IV? Uh? You forgot the Miss. Always at the Miss. Miss IV is the poster girl for the East Wing General Store. There's no problem if you want to talk to Miss IV. Just keep the naive. I just moved here and won't somebody show me around. Extra minimum. Not that anyone would could be as young, guyish, or fashionist as me. Aww. By the way, quick question for you, big guy. What kind of present do you think will make Miss IV at the East Wing happy? I'm not asking for me, you understand? A friend of a friend wanted advice, and I'm having a tough time with the answer. Obviously, I can't just go ask her directly. Let me know if you can think of something. Sure, I'll ask him, her directly. Yeah. Mm. If you're interested in Hatena's village, special good, go ready, if you like this range. What do you like? Uh, what do I like? Where did that come from? Uh, mm. Maybe frogs? Sure, why not? I like frogs. If I had a hundred hot-footed frogs, I, I would be incredibly happy. Oops, I couldn't think of anything, so I just told him what my dad likes instead. 
Okay. Ah, I'm not trying to be rude, buddy, but what are you doing with Miss Ivy from the general store? She notice I've been checking her out for a long. I mean, a friend of a friend tipped me off. I talked to her. Uh -huh. You went and asked what Miss Ivy likes right over to her face. What's the idea? Oh, I gotta play smooth. I can't let him guess. I'm the one dying to know. Alright then, so what is it? What does Miss Ivy want? I can't leave my friend's friends hanging. She wants half for the frogs and a hundred of them. At that. Yeah, that checks out. Miss Ivy's love for animals is just one of the many charming things about her. Or so my friend's friend is always saying. That was a close one. I better play smooth. Still, collecting a hundred hot food and frogs seems like a big job, even for someone you love. Ah. But not if I had help. You traveler types go into wells and caves all the time, right? Uh, that's just the kind of place where you find frogs. You don't even have to go far. Didn't I hear about a bunch of frogs in a well somewhere in this village? Hmm, maybe I should check it out later. What? I didn't say anything. Uh, look, let's focus on how helpful it would be if you get a taint of those frogs. Uh -huh. Hey buddy, do I hear a faint croaks of little frogs? Specifically, taint hot for the frogs in that pouch of yours. Here's some frogs. One, two, three, uh huh. Think frogs I'll account for, allow me to take those off your hands, and as promised, here's your reward. Okay, for sure. I had something. Nice, I guess it's up to me to collect the rest. How I've been dreaming of a date with my beloved Miss IV. <laughs> That's why I, many, will check every well in sight. Oh, not coming back from that one. Okay, so. Did you got them? <laughs> you collect some hot food frogs for me. I collect a few more myself, and Miss Ivy will sweat right off her feet. Also, that friend's friend I was talking about said, I think, in a way, I owe you one. So, didn't want anything. Oh. I'm here on duty checking on Miss Ivy. Sorry, no, I mean, I'm keeping watch over the village entrance. Two beasts for chat. Two to chat. So, uh, a word outside, but. Uh, what with the upheaval stuff going on? And even here, there's that election business. Keeping watch. Oh. Thanks to the CC brain, we see more people coming and going from the village. I'm just checking out the beauties. Uh, I mean, tourists. Wait, I mean, suspicious characters. Yeah, that's it. Although, now that you brought up beauties, no one else holds a candle to Miss Ivy. Then again, the princess of Hyrule Castle, who used to stay in the house to the south of the village. She was alright. <laughs> Still didn't hold a candle to Miss Ivy though. Well, need me to for anything else. I'm kinda of busy checking out the village. Come oh, on, never it's never a cute girl that comes along to distract me from watching duty. An election? Oh. Yeah, some folks in the village are going ahead with preparations for elections for the next mayor. Things between Sissy and Reed got pretty heated, I guess. Not that I much care whose mayor's around this place. Ah. Although, here's a thought. What if I was mayor? I bet things would turn around for me then. Yes, sir. And nothing's gonna happen to you too. Yeah. Mm. Very interesting. You had village special goods. Ready? What do you like? Be... What the other guy calls putting the moves on me? Well... Uh, if that is what's going on, maybe he'll cut it and answer him again. Mm. Maybe frogs? Sure, not like frogs. Thunder Ridge. Yeah, but... Hmm. Yeah, I don't really remember the first game. He never spoke to Prima. She, he never spoke to Prima about the... What's the name? Uh, crickets. Hey, I saw that. The only ones beside me who's allowed to pick my prize Highland Tomatoes is my daughter Esther. If you want some, go to the general store and buy them like everyone else. Okay, I'm angry, you guy. I'm still angry. Hmm. Do you need something for me? I have a Highland Shroom. 
Why, why am I... Oh, okay, no. Okay, that's because of the... Oh, well, alright, then see ya. And that's part of the quest. Yeah, she's probably a voter, too, you know. Looking for honey tomatoes grown by Meta, find them at General Store. Okay, let's ignore everybody and go to the Mir's house. Then school. I remember he was the chief around here, but I don't remember him having the title of mayor. You also have a quest for me. Okay. Oh, you're the traveler I saw at Venta's clothing, right? Did you come to check up on me because you were worried? Uh. Yeah, I lost my head a little there. I'm not too proud of the way you behaved. But I don't you worry about me. I have a couple of tricks up my sleeve against CC. I might not be able to pull one of them off in time for the mayor election. So I'm focusing on the second plan to bring back a taste no one's tried here in years. What kind of taste? Oh. Way back when, my grandfather worked with someone from the village to create a special kind of food. It was too ahead of its time to catch on, so it never went further than the first trial run, but I never forgot it. Even today, I can still recall the gooey mouthfeel of one of the one bite my grandfather shared with me. In the back of my mind, I've always wanted to make it a senior staple of this village. Okay, you're going the same road as Sissy, like that. <laughs> if I could accomplish that, then I have something that could stand up to Sissy. Except, I can't remember who in the village my grandfather worked with or what they created. And now that I think of it, it, was, it also had a unique pungent scent. If I could just smell the aroma again, it might jog my memory. Yeah. You have to excuse me, I have things I need to take care of. Please don't worry about my problems and just have a nice relaxing time in our village. Have you tried the fresh milk they make on the farm up the hill? Having a glass is a nice way to unwind before bed. New sooner to few food. Okay, if I go along with Sissy's quest before doing that, you'll have a different dialogue because you you would have lost already. Oh, you're the customer I saw at the Vintage Clothing, aren't you? You know, from when they were talking about whether to go through with the mayoral election or not, it's become something of a hassle. They are both so stubborn. I wish they clear the air between them and end the silly quarrel once and for all. Aww. But that's the a moot point now. I have something else on my mind. I have to take care of this before the mirror election starts. Okay, now I want to do Sissy's quest before doing yours. What's on your mind? Uh. Oh, you don't mind leading, leading me on you? Uh, you won't. I want my words, it's about my husband's read. Uh, that man of mine, he shuts himself up in our shed every night. I don't have the faintest what he's up to. Uh. When I ask, he just say it's a secret and I can't get another peep out of him. I hate the idea of snooping on him, plus I think he'd catch me at it right away. I'm but I get so worried when I think about whether whatever he's doing will affect his chances in the election. Mm. I was fit uh, I was fit to burst if I couldn't find someone to talk to about this. Yeah, good thing you came along. I like you to enter our shed at midday when my husband isn't around and see if you can figure out what he's doing. I'll pay you for troubles, of course. Mm. The only problem I can see is that he keeps the place locked up tight. You never fit in through a window, but maybe you could dig a hole or something. Well, you'll figure it out. Okay, that's probably from a well or a cave. So they both have 
secrets. No entry fall permission. Eat. Ah, oh, there's the well. The village north, north well. There's more than one. Or is this county south as well? Then, uh, west well. Just check where is it? I should have done that before. just done that all the time that I went out of my way to grab something. Oh, I didn't. I only noticed after I was already swinging my weapon around. It was about here. That's... Oh, I didn't notice this one here. South well. Well, those are enemies too close to the village. Travel. Uh, you head out to Hatena Village. Uh, East well. Frank hmm. Bow. Bow passed down through the Shika tribe. Concentrating before drawing the strings will allow you to target distant enemies as easily as those nearby. Ah, that's where I wait. Okay. Ah, is it right here? Where, if I'm not mistaken, that's where I would need to go for the quest. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was the guy. <laughs> uh, those towards a new variety of pumpkin. Read. Read. I firmly believe that Hateno's village's charm is in the delicious vegetables and milk from it, our farms. But there's no denying that these things just aren't resonating with the youth nowadays. And I've got no business being mayor if I can fix that. So I got together with Nack, the best farmer in these parts, and we came up with a new type of pumpkin. The color, shape, and appearance are based on CC brain aesthetic, which is popular with the young folk. If he does Nack, th oh, it might be a bit before we can achieve our goal of shimming the pumpkins out. Hmm. So maybe things will go out smoothly and they will get along in the end. What are you looking at? No, you said you had to do that before the election, so I'm going to hold it as much as I can. See if I can do that after the election. Well, I'll need to talk to the old folks 
to see if any of them have... How kids are counted for? Ah, you take care of the... Uh, school? Ah, you're up earlier? Well, the early cuckoo gets the warm, so they say. Uh, what am I doing, you ask? This is the road to this <laughs> the school. They just found it. Ah. They just found it, so... We haven't... Uh, we haven't been missed for too long. Otherwise... Zelda wouldn't know about this cold being ready and stuff. Come rain or shine, I stay here and make sure the kids are safe coming and going. It's not my job, mind you. More like a volunteer to help my community. Ooh. Oh, have you been by our store yet? Ooh. The boutique event that's clothing is right by the village entrance. If you've got lost, look for the big mushroom clothing sculpture. Oh. That's right, believe it or not, my girl Sissy is running the mirror election. If she wins, she'll be picking up a lot of responsibilities around here. Hope she'll still have time for her father. Man, this guy isn't that old, but since he's retired from... From the shop, he's doing a bunch of... Old man's tasks, just looking around, guiding people for the village and stuff. You're traveler, aren't you? I like to go traveling myself sometime. But today, I've got my hands full tending to the field near the school. Uh, good journey to you, traveler, and good harvest to me, I suppose. Do you have something to say? Uh, yeah, here, I don't. I couldn't give to them anyway, so have a higher shroom. I give it from Sissy, thanks for that. The world of fashion moves too fast for us old folks. But I'm in favor of any mayor who can make sure this village stays in a place where the young folk are happy to live. I guess I'll go to work. Oh. I did something heavy. Oh. Was this something for Sissy? Yeah, pretty obvious from the look of it. You know, people keep talking up this Sissy brain stuff, but it never really clicked with me. I know the lady works hard, but most of us farmers around here aren't too precious about our clothes. Ah. But sure, thanks for the mushroom. That's mighty nice of you. Updated. That was just two. Ah, okay. You update for each one. 